Austin Peterson. Austin Crazy Eyes Peterson. We don't have a profile on Gigax, but uh, are on uh, Augustine rather. But Austin Crazy Eyes Peterson coming out of Sox City, Iowa. One combat record of seven and three, 145 pound weight class. He's five foot eight. He said he's been train when, training with Mike Bugsby for this fight. He um, he has a win over a UFC fighter. So. In his pro debut, he beat, um, I, I forget the gentleman's name, but um, last name is Wynn, and he's in the UFC, and uh, he has a victory over that guy. So he's a win over UFC fighter. His favorite fighter is Royce Gracie. He's trained with Royce Gracie. Um, this guy's been around a long, long time. Probably the toughest competition that Augustine has gone against in his pro career. But Josh Augustine, such an explosive, exciting prospect. We're gonna see if Peterson can stop this new age style that these up and comers that started MMA at 15 years old. That'll definitely be a big test of itself. Josh Augustine coming out of St. Charles MMA by way of St. Charles, Missouri. Trains under the watchful eye of Mike Rogers and Matt Ricehouse. Got a couple of BJJ black belts and pro fighters in your corner there. He put in a lot of work with the McCormick brothers for this fight, uh, who both picked up victories earlier tonight. So they're going to see if they can uh, make it a SC MMA sweep. Always nice to have teammates on the same card as you because you know they're going to be in the room. You have the same date, the same goal. This is an intriguing fight for me because Austin, you know, he's been around a while. He's got some experience. But then you look at a guy like Josh Augustine, young, hungry, what do you get from these guys that have been in the game for a while? Because it's a different breed coming behind us right now. Yeah, we got young, hungry, and wild and against an older veteran, but both these guys have a strong dislike for each other. Yeah, I noticed that the way in yesterday. He put the crazy eyes to his actual name. Crazy eyes put the crazy eyes on him, and everyone who knows Josh Augustine knows that he is just one second away from crazy eyes of his own. The man is, is built to fight. He was born to fight. Said so this is what he was born to do. Crazy Eyes looking to play the spoiler tonight. We're going to send it on to Kendall for the introduction. And now, for all those watching around the world tonight on Twitch, and for those here in St. Louis, we say, I Professional featherweight title on the line. And the Augustine fans are making this place explode right now. Here we go. I'm so excited for this matchup. You know, as intense as Augustine gets with the weigh-ins and all the face-off material, he's actually pretty calculated off the start. Yeah, he's, he's uh, a calculated killer and they're a really technical guy. He'll put the pressure on, he'll get in your face. But look, he's not going nuts, really. Yeah, touch gloves, they throw, ooh, lands a nice stiff right hand right out of the gates here. Goes for the jumping knee. The jumping knees are in right now. That's the thing. Augustine switching from South Pole to Orthodox. Peterson throwing back on him. So far, we're about to uh, surpass uh, Augustine's uh, record time for being in there. Actually, I think his first fight went just over a minute. Well, and that's another thing about this is Augustine out the gate, you know, you fight other people that are debuts or close to it. And to date, he hasn't fought anybody that had a win until this. And this guy has seven wins. So this is a great test for him 
and when he was offered it short notice, he jumped right at it. So yeah. that kind of tells you where his mindset is for the game. Peterson sloppily changed elevation there. Augustine's going to knee him right in the face if he does that again. Good jab there by Augustine. A lot of overhands and weird punches, and he's turned his back a couple times. So with guys like that, you really have to be careful because you never know when yes. that spinning back fist is coming or something goofy. Right, it's so awkward. It's something you haven't seen in the gym. Peterson switching stances, turning his head. Augustine just missing. I mean, just a half, not even a half an inch out of the way from some of these landing clean. Definitely staying poised. Yeah, crazy eyes in there giving Augustine uh, the most work he's seen in his pro career at this point. Throwing everything he can at. Ooh, Augustine just misses with that right hand. Crazy eyes Peterson coming forward. Crazy Eyes goes a, a duck overhand, just misses. Ooh, Augustine eats one at the same time as Peterson. Oh, and he's at it. Wisely takes it to the ground here. Peterson did a uh, good job of uh, hitting Augustine with a clean enough shot to where Josh said, you know what, I'm gonna put this thing on the ground where I know I have the advantage. You know, face tag's fun, but whenever someone's kind of goofy, if you can stay patient with it long and score, it can be real fun, but then, you know, sometimes it's just, you just want to put them away. Peterson looking to try and employ some rubber guard here. Looks like he's landing some short elbows down here. A little short shots from the top here by Augustine. Trying hard for the finish here. Passing the legs, well done. Wayne Best letting him work here. Crazy Eyes Peterson staying alive. This could be it right here. Oh, nope. Peterson does, doing just enough to stay alive. Augustine now just in there, chilling in the guard of Peterson. He's going to look the posture and throw more elbows, just like he did before. He just really enjoys pinning guys against that cage. He does. That's his thing. Peterson saying he's good. He's going to have to move. Though. He's going to get stopped. I mean, the referee's going to stop. These are all hitting on the forearms. Crazy eyes, owning up to the crazy nickname. I mean, he just took all those on the forearm while telling the referee he was good. Veteran savvy there. Yeah, he's looking at the referee to let him know that he was in it the whole time. Yeah, and shout out to Dwayne for letting it continue if he's still communicating with him like that. Augustine passes now, and this is where it's going to be over. Ten seconds left. Is Augustine going to be able to get the finish? Dwayne stepping in, close. Yep. That's it. Augustine, Josh Augustine, your featherweight professional, NFA professional champion. First round stoppage with less than five seconds left on the clock. Bright, bright things coming out of this guy. Now he's got to defend this title. Becoming the champ is one thing, defending it is another. Super impressive performance by the St. Charles MMA project prospect. You see a lot of big things in the future for this kid. You know, when it comes to a lot of these guys in the area from Iowa, Oklahoma, all that area, they come in with good records, like a seven and three. But I'm telling you, as I scout the area, maybe I'm just a homer, I will definitely take the St. Louis grit over a lot of these guys. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, we got some tough, tough fighters here, and I think. Uh, 
I think as the area is continuing to grow and as these prospects that we have now in St. Louis are moving on to bigger and better things, St. Louis is going to start getting the eyes on it that it deserves because St. Louis is starting to become an MMA hotbed and it's it's exciting to see for uh, these young guys coming up and for you guys that are further along in your career looking to get to that next level, you guys are going to start getting the eyes on you that you deserve. I think the change is coming now that we're all not facing each other. Right. Yeah, we're not stepping on each other anymore in St. Louis, and it's a beautiful thing. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee is going to best call to stop in the fight. Four minutes, 58 seconds into the very first round. The clear winner by TKO due to strikes. And new NFA featherweight champion, Josh Augustine. Josh Augustine is the new NFA champion. A professional title in three fights. Pro title, three fights. Taking it up on short notice, not really short notice. The opportunity came and he jumped at it. Right. He had a month. You know, it was a risk reward thing and it worked out for the him. Reward paid off. As you can see, Joshua Augustine, clearly one of the fan favorites. As you can tell, this whole place was going crazy. Place was going crazy. Joshua Augustine.